Hello, and thanks for tuning into my channel. Let's get right into this build. I use construction lumber consisting of 4x4s, 2x6s, and 2x4s as the main building material for this dog kennel. The legs were made out of 4x4 posts. I cut them down to rough size on the miter saw and then decreased their thickness with the planer. I wanted the legs to stand out from the rest of the kennel, but their original thickness was too much, so I used the planer to get them down to a thickness I was happy with. I then angle cut the leg bottoms to give the kennel a floating appearance. This detail may not be noticed by everyone, but I think it adds a nice touch to the kennel. As you see here, I slid the leg up to a stop block clamped to the miter saw to make all the cuts exactly the same size. Next, I prepared the rails and styles out of 2x4s. I cut them to length on the miter saw. and then ran them through the planer to clean them up and bring them down to uniform thickness. The final step was to remove the rounded edges of both sides of the 2x4s with a table saw. I ripped one side of all the boards, slid the fence over, and then ripped the other side. Next, I prepared the tabletop from 2x6s in the same fashion, first cutting them to rough length on the miter saw, then running the boards through the planer to remove some material and bring them down to a uniform thickness. And then using the table saw to remove the rounded edges and bring all the boards down to the same width. Next, I arranged the boards in order and measured and marked for the biscuits. Then I connected those marks with a straight edge. I then used my biscuit joiner to cut slots into the inside edges of the boards along the layout marks. Then I added Tight Bond 3 wood glue to the boards and into the slots. After spreading out the glue, I inserted biscuits into the slots and then added more glue to the biscuits. Next, I laid the boards flat, pulled them together, and added clamps to both sides of the top. You can see how the biscuits help to bring the boards into alignment and keep them lying flat while I add the clamps. After the glue was dry, I sanded the top smooth for what seemed like forever. It looks like it only took seconds in the video, but I assure you it was forever. Look, see, I even fell asleep. I cut the top to its final size by running a circular saw up against a straight edge. Then I used a chamfer bit in the router to create an angle along the top side of the top, or the top's upper side, or the top end of the upper, you know what I mean, English. I used half inch metal conduit for the bars of the kennel. I cut them to size using a hacksaw and then removed the sharp edges with an angle grinder. If 
like you're wondering, it only took about 20 seconds to cut through the conduit with a hacksaw. The next day, I applied three coats of flat black spray paint, allowing time for the paint to dry between coats. I used a Forstner bit in my drill press to make the holes for the bars to fit into. The drill press ensured all holes were drilled perfectly at 90 degrees. Next, I began working on the kennel door. After milling the 2x4s down to size, I made a series of passes on the table saw to create a half lap joint. This is a strong joint with lots of surface area for glue. And once this was done, I used the drill press again to make the holes for the bars. For the short sides of the dog kennel, I thought it would look nice to include a framed panel and a smaller window of bars above it. I ran the boards through the table saw and a series of passes to create a groove for the panel to fit into. Then I cut a sheet of 3 quarter inch plywood to size. You can see how the panel goes together here. I chose pocket hole joinery for the rails and styles because they make a strong joint that's easy to assemble. I also cut a curve into the bottom of the front rail to add a decorative touch to the kennel. I did this with a jigsaw and then evened out the cut with a palm sander. applied two coats of Minwax English Chestnut Stain to the top, allowing for dry time in between the coats. For the finish, I applied five coats of Clear Satin Spar Urethane, sanding with high grit sandpaper in between coats. I made the bottom of the dog kennel out of 3 quarter inch plywood, notching out the corners for the legs, adding pocket holes to the underside, and then used the same stain and finish as the top. I also added three coats of white paint to all the remaining parts. I used clamps to hold the parts tightly together while driving in pocket hole screws. This helped to ensure the parts didn't shift as I drove in the screws. I took diagonal measurements throughout the assembly to ensure the parts were square. If both diagonal measurements are the same, well, then you know your assembled pieces are square. Off camera, I installed a panel of quarter inch painted plywood to cover all the pocket holes seen here. 
Here I'm putting together the door. I used glue in the half lap joints and then brad nailed it together. I later filled those nail holes with wood putty and touched them up with paint. I used playing cards as shims to evenly space the door inside of the opening. I used a Vix bit, which is a self-centering drill bit, to pre-drill the holes for the hinges and then drove in the screws. I used Z-top fasteners to attach the top. The fastener can slide inside the groove as needed when the top expands and contracts during seasonal changes. And for the last step, Emery helped me with a touch-up paint going around the entire kennel touching up the areas that needed to be touched up with, with paint. And with that, the dog kennel was done. I hope you've enjoyed this project and maybe found some inspiration to make your very own dog kennel table. Thanks again for watching. Hi, welcome back to my channel, JL Wood Artistries. My name is Jordan Lyne, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about this project. You see, it's a dog kennel for my friends Carlos and Kendra. Carlos, Kendra, and I grew up together on the beachy shores of California, swimming in the ocean every day, getting into trouble. Our parents never knew where we were. Ah, uh, they've done a lot for me over the years, and I figured, you know what? I'd like to do something nice for them. So I made them this gift for free. And it's a dog kennel for their dog named Bourbon. Bourbon is getting up there in age and he needs a nice place to sleep during the day and at night inside their home. So I figure why not make them a table for inside that doubles as a dog kennel. I, it's mind blowing and I came up with it. You won't see another one like this anywhere. And if you do, they've stolen the idea from me. So I think it turned out great. It's made out of construction lumber and conduit with a little paint and stain it looks like a beautiful piece of furniture for inside your home. So let me know in the comments what you think of it. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel, hitting the thumbs up, hitting the notification bell, and that way you can stay up to date with all my future projects. Thanks again for the support and tuning in. Until I catch you on the next one, please take care and stay safe. Goodbye. Carlos, Kendra, and Bourbon. Kind of sounds like a country song. Carlos and Kendra drinking bourbon. It's kind of weird because that's their dog. Yeah, I don't know. Just still going. Oh.